everybody, Chef Tim coming to you from Bistro East. We're going to do a recipe today for strawberry shortcake. I've already washed my hands. I have my trusty recipe that you always need to have on hand when you're making things. So we're using ready to eat foods, so we'll always use gloves when we're handling ready to eat foods. Ready to eat food is anything that wouldn't need cooking. So what I've done to start is I took our biscuit that we use for our breakfast sandwiches and the like, another way to use it up. We're going to use it as a shortcake for strawberries. So one half of a biscuit, you split it in half, break it, and then set it in the bottom of the um, nine ounce cup. And then for the strawberries, we're going to use a number eight scoop, which is a half a cup. And to get the strawberries out, just dip the portion are in there and then pour the strawberries over the biscuit to make a shortcake. So for this recipe I use two quarts of strawberries to get 12 portions. And you'll notice after I dip the cup in, after I dip the portioner in, I level it off each time to make sure it's a half a cup portion. Just like when you're canning, doing your canned fruits and you put them in the five ounce cup with a lid. It's a nine ounce squat cup that we're using today for this recipe. So now that we have all 12 cups filled, we're also going to use On Top, which is an already whipped cream that will come frozen in a bag. So you want to pull that out ahead of time. It's got a little tab on the bottom that you tear out and you have to find the tip and push it towards the top of the bag and through. And the directions are on the back side of the bag as well, how to handle it. So you can read those as well. And you want to pull it out a day ahead of time and have it in the refrigerator. And that just squeeze some air out for the first one. So you're just using your right hand, you're pushing down on the top of it and just squeezing out a little rosette or a florette, however you want to say it. If you're looking to do maybe about two tablespoons of cream on top of each one. And it makes a nice little dessert for Valentine's Day. So at the very end, when you're piping it out, you just do a little twist at the end and it pulls it up like that. So set these in the refrigerator and let them stay nice and cold before service for the students. And then they'll each get one for their special dessert. Celebrate. Thank you.